one eight seven seven three zero zero seven six four five to get into the radio program. I want to give you some truth here, like I've been doing all night. We've got an author who's joining us, and I've been trying to get this man on the show for some time. His name is Supreme, and he's got a book by the name of Dark Water. He has authored several books. This is not his first book. The Hood Health Handbook, forward by Dick Gregory. Lots of uh, great information in there, how to hustle and win. And also, he's got a new book out called The Taste of Life, a vegetarian cookbook, which, of course, has my interest as a vegetarian. But the book that I want to have on about right now is Dark Water, Voices from Within the Veil, a book about W.E.B. Du Bois, What We Don't Know, kind of like Malcolm X, what we didn't know about Malcolm X. What in the world will this book tell people, Supreme? Well, this book is actually written entirely by Du Bois. It's one of the books that should be considered uh, right alongside Souls of Black Folk, but it's conveniently ignored. And the reason why it's ignored is because of the ideas that Du Bois is uh, embracing in this book. It's, it's actually the turning point in his life when uh, Du Bois kind of gave up on the idea of... Uh, the Americanism and the conservative ideas that we associate him with now. You know, now when we, you know, when we celebrate black icons uh, from history, we celebrate the sanitized versions of them. We talk about King, but all we talk about is nonviolence and peace. We don't talk about his campaign on behalf of poor people. We don't talk about his criticisms of capitalism. Uh, we don't talk about a lot of things that King was very uh, strong-minded about. Um, we're even now in the process of watching Malcolm X being sanitized. So when we hear about Du Bois, most of us have heard that he talked about the color line and, you know, he uh, had problems with Garvey and, you know, he advocated for the talented tenth, uh, the intellectuals among, you know, uh, black people at the time, uh, solving the problems for, uh, for black people. Well, that's not, that's not the whole story, and that's what this book will reveal. Well, okay, so the, the the story that we've gotten about W.E.B. Du Bois, because, like, for instance, slavery. We've been told that slavery wasn't, you know, that bad, etc., but there were revolts all the time. That's what you don't hear. You don't hear about the Sharp Rebellion. You don't, you don't hear about any of those things. Who is responsible for the sanitized version of W.E.B. Du Bois? Uh, the same uh, the same mainstream, uh, I would call it the media, I mean, because it is a form of media, but it's uh, the same uh, force that... Um, presents, the, that creates the curriculum that goes into our schools, that decides the curriculum of the HBCUs. I went to an HBCU, and I don't remember learning half of the, the, the black history, the African history that I would learn later and um, until I left the HBCU. We learned a very sanitized version of, of just about everything um, because, you know, when you, I mean, you know, even look at an elementary school curriculum, um, and, and, you know, we can go to the easy, the easy target, uh, all they teach about Columbus discovering America, and that's a real obvious one. But if you look a little bit deeper, you want elementary school children in, in the, in the urban community to stop using the N-word. But you won't show them any footage from the era when the N-word was a vile and vicious and degrading slur. You won't show the word ever used in that context, so the only reference point these young people have is one where it's a term of endearment. So right. you want them to stop doing this, but you won't show them the, 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 the awful history behind it. You know, um, we don't hear about uh, Ida B. Wells and, and, and the lynching studies. We don't hear about how many lynchings there were, not just in the South, but throughout the country, and for how long and how many. As you mentioned earlier, we don't hear about uh, slave rebellions or uprisings. That actually is um, the first historical book that we published before Dark Water. We pub published a book called um, Black Rebellion because, in you know, I, my my education is in curriculum and in, in, in instruction, uh, and so with my based on my studies of, of educational curriculum, it, it's just obvious that there's some serious gaps out there. One of which is that. The entire curriculum based around slavery and black history um, makes black people seem like as if they were uh, passive participants and never agents in their own liberation, mm -hmm. and never necessarily the militant kind of agents um, that you you know now you know now that's dangerous. But 
you have, but if you know the history, then you know that the reason why King was successful was because during the civil rights movement, there were also militant groups that were taking arm, taking arms. And King said, "Hey, listen, man, you can either give me what I want, or these folks are going to take what they want." Exactly, use them as leverage. Okay, give me, give me an example of how for conservative uh, W. E. B. Du Bois, of course, was perceived, and how he wasn't. Give me one example. W one example is that um, Du Bois. People would think that Du Bois uh, advocated integration and that he just said, hey, let's just get along with white folks and let's just try to make it work and uh, we'll just be intellectual. What, what people do is they put that in the context of him being against Garvey, who was doing the Back to Africa thing at the time, and that's really not the course that he ended up taking. Uh, this, people don't this, know that Du Bois, by the end of his life, ended up dying in Ghana and giving up his American citizenship to become a Ghanaian citizen. That sounds, it sounds provocative. Dark Water is the name of the book. How can people get it real quickly? DarkwaterDuBoys.com, DuBoysDarkwater.com. Just do a Google search for the updated and annotated version of Dark Water, and they should be able to find it. This is Ready News Review. I'm Rob Redding, America's independent voice. If you didn't catch how you can get Dark Water, this is a big, big release about W.E.B. Du Bois. SupremeDesignOnline.com. Go there right now. Supreme Design Online. You want this book. I have it in my hand right now. More than 300 pages, almost 300 pages, 232 pages of great stuff here. Voices from Within the Veil, Dark Water, the annotated edition. Get it right now. SupremeDesignOnline.com. SupremeDesignOnline.com. That's Supreme. Write it down. SupremeDesignOnline.com. Don't continue to email me about where I can get the book. SupremeDesignOnline.com. SupremeDesignOnline.com. Dark Water is the name of the book. Dark Water, Voices from Within, hot off the press. We thank Supreme for coming on the show.